Boy, I'll tell you. After watching this show, I don't think I ever want to live in a world with superheroes anymore. And I say that because after what I just saw, and I binged this series, by the way, in one sitting, to be honest with you, not gonna lie, I was like, hmm, perhaps these things can happen if superheroes existed in our world. Hey guys, welcome to New Series Science, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more, and today I'm gonna be reviewing The Boys. Like I said before in the beginning of this video, I did watch this series in one sitting, because... I've been wanting to watch the series for quite a bit ever since it came out, like about, I think, last week or so. And to tell you the truth, I had never heard of The Boys. It's actually based off a comic book series. No surprise there. I mean, TV shows are coming out left and right based on comic book series. And that's what I want to get into. Now, The Boys series starts out with a guy who basically gets his girlfriend murdered by a speedster superhero who belongs to a group called The Seven. Yes, you can call it the Flash of this series, who's accidentally, by the way, killed in his in the middle of his run. And I won't spoil it, but if you haven't seen the trailer, that's in the trailer. You gotta watch the trailer because it's not a spoil, but I'm not gonna spoil everything else. But pretty much ever since that incident, this guy has felt like he's lost everything and all he got was an, an apology. And that's it. And he feels like something needs to be done to, I guess, regulate these heroes and make them responsible for their actions but anyways this series is insane like it, it is crazy you need to watch it it is only eight episodes that's why i was able to watch it in one sitting it was pretty short i hope the second season will be longer because it did end up in a cliffhanger I'm not gonna say why or what happened but pretty much if like the justice league existed i think it would be like this you got characters like homelander who's like in charge of the seven this group that's pretty much the justice league come on I mean, you got an Aquaman wannabe who's actually, you know, humiliated in this series. You got a speedster who's known as A-Train, basically the Flash. Uh, and then you have, like, a silent um, character who's really good at fighting. I don't, I don't remember, like, I don't know what his power is. But not much about him is explored in this series. And then you have a Wonder Woman-like character in the series as well. But pretty much what the series centers around is these heroes behind the scenes. Because throughout this series... These heroes are treated like products, you know? You have people taking selfies with them. You have movies and sequels based on these characters coming out. You have comic books, toys, everything. It's franchise. It's basically a realistic take on the world if superheroes existed. And it really brings it down to the nitty gritty on the ground level, on the ground scale. Because if superheroes existed, they'd be franchised. That's what it is. It's all about making money and making the people proud. It's giving this false sense of hope because of these heroes that exist when in factuality, there's a lot going on behind the scenes that people don't know about. It's an illusion. You know, it's there's nasty things going on. There's scandals. These heroes are not who they seem to be. They're actually pretty bad people. They're they're essentially just dickheads and they they don't really care about the people. All they care about is their personal image. And that's it. And then they just turn around and they become an entirely different person. Ah, you think you'd know a guy. You know that saying, never meet your heroes? Or your idols? I mean, I guess this takes it to another level. I mean, if you knew or even watched the series, you'd be like, yeah, I don't want to meet that guy. What's really messed up of all things, and this is putting it lightly, a lot of shit happens in this series that you go like, I'm not going to say what, but I'm going to be like, Oh my god, did I just witness that? That is so sad. Wow. And then they have the audacity to lie about what had transpired about a certain event. And I wish I could tell you what it was, but I'd be spoiling for you. Guys, if you have a chance, check out The Boys on Amazon Prime right now. If you're a Prime member, go ahead and check it out. It's only eight episodes. I think you can probably watch this in one sitting. It's really that good of a show. You got actors like Carl Urban in this series, and he is fantastic. So I urge you to check out The Boys. I think you'll have a great time. I personally had a great time, and I, all the characters are amazing, including, believe it or not, The Seven, who are actually kind of like on the villain side, but some of them are like, ah, I'm not sure if this is for me. There is this one character who really saw the idea of being a superhero being like the ultimate job to have but as it turns out she was disappointed because her expectations were completely crushed when she got to meet 
the rest of the team of the seven. And she really only wanted to do it just because she really wanted to help people. And as it turns out, the people that she met and she grew up idol idolizing because she grew up with powers, it turns out they were just a bunch of dicks and... They don't like her that much, and she doesn't really like them. And it just starts off really rocky, and you get to actually watch the series from her point of view in a way, and some of the characters, of course, and you really understand them. And at the same time, you want to hate the superheroes, but you understand why they're doing what they're doing. But at the same time, you're like, God, what a dick. And they really, really make it so that you do not like these characters and I'm like, wow, they did a fantastic job. And that character, Homelander, can you imagine if Superman was a real person? You'd be afraid of that guy. You'd be like, oh my God, this guy can kill me if he wanted to. He can destroy this world if he really wanted to. And he really brings that representation of power to his performance, to whoever this actor is. I don't know who he is, but he really does a really good job. He really has like this intimidation thing going on and you're like wow i'd be scared of that guy too if he was real because at any moment he can just kill me like this with his laser eyes and he's essentially the embodiment of superman if superman was a villain so anyways i urge you to check out the boys you'll have a great time guys please check it out if you can watch it in one sitting don't recommend it by the way you'll feel like a slob You'll feel terrible, by the way. And if you've already seen the series, please let me know what your thoughts on The Boys. Did you like it? Did you have a great time? Leave your comments down below. No spoils, by the way. I try not to spoil it for you, but hopefully you've enjoyed this review. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell notification so you all don't miss anything. And as always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.